Hey, uh, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Django tutorial in this tutorial series. And in this video, we are going to learn how you can start a Django project. So basically, this is the first step towards starting programming in Python using Django. So as per the instructions over here that I've written is go to a directory where you want to start a Django project in and simply type the following command. So let's let's just go ahead and create one okay let's say we'll give it a name saying Django tutorial you can name whatever you want so and then over here just press the shift and then right click and as you can see the open PowerShell window pops up over here but if you are in Linux or Mac you can use the terminal and go to a directory by simply doing cd that means change directory so i will write more instructions about it in the description below so you can easily start a django project over there so the first thing you need to do is type in django hyphen admin start project so basically this is a fairly simple command just say django admin start project and the name of the project so name of the project is the package where all of your code, all of your apps are going to be. So for right now, let's we, we will say tutorial. So oh no, let's not let's not do tutorial. Let's do movie review because we are going to create a movie review website. So let's just keep it movie review. So Django admin start project movie review. And as you can see over here, it creates a folder called movie review and inside there there is another folder called movie review with settings urls and everything and here is manage.py so uh, what we need to do is uh, let's see see we are in the root directory movie review and then okay so from the instructions over here as you can see start project project name my new project and then we have to run migrations so we need to change the directory first before we do that so let's just go to movie review now we are inside that directory where there was manage.py and another folder called movie review so we have to run migrations so what basically it means is it creates the database and make changes to the database so uh, whenever we create a new app or make changes to the database we need to migrate every time so this might sound confusing to you right now but just follow along with this tutorial series and you will understand exactly what I'm talking about so uh, just type in python manage.py make migrations and then after you're done with make migrations do python manage.py migrate and this will migrate all of these tables those are the auth tables admin tables and then these are basically committing to the database so now that you have already started a project and made the migrations let's uh, run the server let's clear this out let's type python manage.py run server and this will start the server and it is live at this location this is 1270.0.1 so this is a local host let's go over to the local host okay 127.0.0.1 colon a thousand port is open and as you can see it says Django the web framework I don't know why it's acting pretty slow right now but this means it has worked it will give you like a message saying welcome to Django project or something okay let's see is it because my internet is pretty slow yep it is I think make it to a different one okay so that should have worked okay yeah so it, it says the install works successfully congratulations you are seeing this because debug equals to true we'll talk about it later but for right now you have already started a Django project and this is running the server it's running the server as long as the server is on it will work and to stop the server just press control C and control C and then let's go over here and refresh it it's not gonna work 
because the server is off. Let's do it one more time. Let's start let's start the server. And then refresh. It's working. Let's stop the server. Okay, and then refresh it. And it's working no more. So that was it for the first part of starting with the project of the Django and then starting the server and stopping it and we'll talk more about writing the first app and then everything about it in the next video till then if you have any problems just let me know in the comment section below and uh, follow along with me on the next video thank you